I just pray. Help you through these moments. Just kept me calm and, you know, we got the opportunity to go out and do what we were able to do and I thank God for the outcome. Your poise come from to allow you to come into a situation like this tonight and perform the way you did? I would say my poise comes from my faith. It seemed that his destiny was all set. Tua was a champion and the road ahead of him was paved for a bright future at Alabama and a certain NFL career. And then it happened. In a game against Mississippi State, at a time in the game where he had no reason to be playing, Tua scrambled into the shadows, chased by two defenders, and he went down. And he didn't get up. He's down. And Tua's down. Whoa. He's not putting any weight on that right leg no. either. And the cart is being rolled out of the field as well as we speak. Tua had to be carted off the field due to the severity of his devastating injury. An injury so bad that some wondered if he'd ever walk the same again, let alone play football again. He's putting no pressure yeah. on his right leg. But as faith would have it, Tua battled back. Lord, by power, but by my spirit, say it the Lord. Raising a child, you know, with godly ways as they grow, it will never depart them. And truly, you know, we kind of drill them with that. It, it, it's the mindset. Mindset. We train them that you can never fail, you can never be defeated, because anyone that has stopped and, not, you know, given up, that is a person that has given up. But the person that keeps learning and keeps practicing and get themselves better, that is a champion. The king shall come to thy rising. And that comes from the book of Isaiah 60. You will be ushered onto a platform, and it's a platform where you shall glorify God. I mean, it's just amazing how God works, and we're witnessing all these things. If you were to tell me that we were going to come back in overtime and win that game after taking a 15-yard sack, I would have never believed it, but it's only by the will and by the grace of God that all of these things have happened. And I think for, for me, um, I think God just needed to use somebody. You mean, you mean more than the world to me, to me, to me. Go in the fuck up! 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 Go in the fuck Tua trained extremely hard to get back into shape and he landed with the Miami Dolphins as the fifth pick in the 2020 NFL Draft. Over the years, he struggled with a coach that didn't seem to want him and a team that lacked the tools and resources to support him. And then, on top of everything else, out of nowhere, the media turned on him too. They went after Tua, and to this day, they've been relentless with their attacks on Tua. If not for his Samoan American warrior culture and strong faith, you have to wonder if Tua could have kept going, but he did. And then, we fast forward to today. And then, this happened. Point system and um, the resounding highest point winner was, um, was Tua. I think it says everything. I think that's incredibly important um, when it's uh, done with the right 
reasons with the right intent. And that was, um, you know, the, the only the only thing that I gave the players was like, who do you want representing you each and every game? Who do you want to wear the C and understand what that C means on your jersey? The Samoan American warrior has arrived and has his place on one of sports biggest stages. But we all know the journey is now just beginning. He now has a coach that believes in him. He has teammates that look to him as a leader. He has a fan base that overwhelmingly supports him. So with all of that in place, will he succeed? If you're asking that question right now, then you don't know what Tua is all about. Because if you really knew anything about Tua, and if you really knew anything about Tua the warrior, and if you knew anything about Tua the man, then you'd know he's already succeeded. In this life here on earth, he plays for an audience of one, which is probably why Tua is such a big target in the media. But what his haters don't know is that Tua has nothing to fear, nothing to fear from the media, nothing to fear from the haters. Their words mean nothing. They can't harm him. And if his football career ended tomorrow, I guarantee you he would still find peace. Tua, the warrior captain, is ready for this moment. And I, for one, am rooting for this young man. And notice, I didn't say I was rooting for the quarterback. I'm rooting for this young man. There's a big difference that you need to take note of right there. You see, I know he has a much greater purpose. Being an NFL quarterback for the Miami Dolphins is just how he's being used right now. And yes, Mike McDaniel is using him very well. This is the time for Tua to shine. If you'd like this video, I invite you to take a look at some of my other Miami Dolphin videos by clicking on one of the two sitting right here. Talk to you soon. Fins up.